I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this version, there are links in the video description below so you can learn the fundamentals and download this player reference, which has all the scoring. In this game, we're going to say that it's a three fawn minimum. I like to play at Mahjong time, and there are tables where you have to have three fawn to win. Let's see how things go in this game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we'll be able to keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. South, West, and North will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hands, see where the strengths lie. Maybe we'll be able to identify some potential fawn. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have a four flower. We're player one and this is a four, so we won't get score for this. We can get a replacement though. We have mostly cracks, two dots, three bams, single east, single dragon here, but we have a pair of white dragons. I think I would play a half flesh, which is cracks with honors. Honors are wins and dragons. That would be three fawn. If we can get a pung here, that's a fawn all by itself. So I think we should discard these. Keep cracks and winds and dragons, honors. We can potentially chow and pung, potential pung here too. We need more cracks or pair up here and pung. If you don't already know, a chow is three in a sequence, like one, two, three, and then a pung is three of a kind. So we would need another eight here. So let's look and see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Three flower, no score. This is east. They have a single east. This is south. They have a pair of their seat wind. If we can pung here, we can get a fawn for that. We have three of each suit. Pair in the cracks. I think I would hold cracks. We do have a potential chow here and a potential chow here. I think I would wait and see what happens with our first pick. We'll see. We have equal potential. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. One flower, no score. They have more dots than they do cracks and bams. half flesh with dots. We could chow, chow, pung. Even though we have a potential chow here and a potential chow here, all chow in mixed suits is only one fawn. We would need to get our own flower and there's already a three flower for south. So we're not gonna get that. We need score, half flesh. That's kind of a go-to especially when you only have one pair. So let's focus on dots and winds and dragons. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. Two flowers, one and three, no score. 
four, five. Potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, potential pung, potential chow. Singles. This is going to be a challenge. They have one more crack than they do bams. We're going to have to pick one because we have no score right now. I think a half flush with cracks unless we draw a bam. We'll see. We're going to start by discarding here. One bam. One bam. It's this player's turn. I would not chow right now. This is our only potential chow in BAMs. I think I would just wait and draw. Stay concealed. Two crack. Potential chow, potential pung. Let's discard one dot. We'll get rid of dots. Let's hold cracks and bams and see which comes in. Right now we have more cracks than we do the other two suits. Nobody can take the one, so we'll draw four west. They got a west. That's their seat wind. We want to keep that. So let's discard three bam. Up here... We have more cracks than we do bams. I think I would stick with cracks and draw instead of chow. Because we can only act on this one here. Here we can act here, here, or here. Let's stick with cracks. We got a bam. Now we have equal potential. Okay. Equal potential. So, since we can Pung or Chow, one strategy to consider is this player discarded a 3-BAM. If they discarded a 3-BAM, we could anticipate them discarding other BAMs. Since we have the same number of BAMs as Cracks, let's go ahead and focus on BAMs and discard these cracks play bams since they threw a three bam let's chow you can chow from the player on your left so we chowed and now we're going to discard seven crack So we're going to play BAMs and Honors. We need to pair all these up. You can't do anything with singles when you have simples two through eight. You've got to pair up and Pung, three of a kind. So they have a Chow now. We're going to draw four East. Three dot. We're discarding BAMs. Let's discard eight BAM. This player's turn. Nobody can take that eight bam, so we'll draw. Two dot. This player's discarding bams. Let's keep bams and cracks and discard dots. Nine dot. Here, we can chow. Seven, eight, nine. And that would leave a potential chow. Let's see here. This is West. So we're going to commit to dots. Let's discard four bam before this player has time to build up, and in which case, we're not ready. We're going to draw two crack. Oh, we have to get rid of all these. We're committed to BAMs. Let's discard two crack. 
two crack, nobody can take it. We have a one, two, one dot. We're gonna get rid of the bam. Bam. Six bam, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Green dragon, single honor. We gotta pair up. Let's discard two dot. We still don't know if we're gonna be in cracks or bams. Two dot, nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. North, okay. That is not their seat. This is north, but if we're playing a half flush, we can use a pung of winds or dragons to help us with one suit with winds and dragons. So let's get rid of one crack. One crack, nobody can take it. We're going to draw four north. Nine crack, and they're drawing cracks. Let's discard three crack. Down here, we're gonna chow. This is isolated. Let's get rid of dots. Nobody can take the one dot, so we'll draw. We got an eight bam, a pair. We have two pair now. If we can pair up more, we can play all pung, all three of a kind. And it's okay to mix suits with all pung because that's a three fawn hand. Let's discard seven dot. Here we're going to chow. No. We have a chow and a potential pung. We're gonna discard two crack. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw four north. Green dragon, oh, that was a good tile to pick up. We could pung, maybe. Let's discard nine crack. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Seven bam. Let's get rid of these dots since the player on our left, well, actually they've been discarding dots, so it doesn't really matter. This player's turn. Three bam, okay. It is looking better for south. We can pung or chow. That would leave an isolated tile though. I think pung, pung, pung. Even pung here, all pung, one, two, three, four pair. All we need to do is pung. Let's discard two crack. Looking good for south. Let's draw here. Five dot, that was a good pick. We could pung or chow. Pung here or chow here. Let's discard four crack. Here, we're not ready. Nobody else can take it, so we will draw. We really want bams. Let's discard two dot. Drawing for east. North. We've got lots of honors, but as singles, it's not gonna help when you have simples. Let's discard seven bam. Nobody can take it. Red dragon, very nice. They have everything they need now. We just need to pung. Let's discard three crack. Last tile in that second wall. Three crack, discard. This player's turn, we can chow. They already have a chow of bams out. We're committed. We're not gonna be tempted. We need bams. Six crack, doesn't matter. We're focused on bams and honors. 
six crack. Nobody can take it. Seven bam. One bam. We've got a one, two, three. So we're kind of at a place where we can play a half flush or all pung. We could maybe even play all pung and a half flush, which is six fawn. Let's discard eight crack. Down here, we're going to pung. You can pung from anybody. So there's a pung. We're going to discard seven dot. Drawing for south. One crack. Nobody wants the eight. Let's discard that. Seven crack. We're in dots. We need to get rid of these. Six crack. Up here we want bams. We're committed. We got a bam. Two potential chows right there. And a potential pung with the dragon. Let's discard five crack. We got two discards. Let's draw. One bam. We'll get rid of five dot. Nobody can take it. Wait, right here. We could pung. They're in dots. Let's pung. So this is a player across. So the tile in the middle will be turned. We'll discard seven crack. So they're one away from ready and they've had eight discards. It's good if you can be ready to win in six discards, but nobody in this game achieved that. So seven crack was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Nine bam. That's a keeper. Maybe we could maybe pung. Let's get rid of five crack. Whoops. Drawing for east. Nine dot. Seven, bam. There's chow potential, whatever comes first. One crack. Discarded one crack. We have a ways to go here. We could either pung or chow though. How many tiles? Yeah, they have the right number of tiles. We, we have a chow here. Potential chow. Potential pung. Potential pung. These are going to be risky tiles. We're almost into the middle of the middle game. We, ha we have a ways yet. Let's draw. Eight dot. Let's discard west. We still need another block and a pair. So west was thrown. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Three dot. No thank you. Drawing for east. Nine crack. Number tile. Let's get rid of this one bam. Okay, now we could pung here. We got work to do. We need to chow or pung. One bam. Now here we could chow, leaving us with a potential chow. One, two, three, four, five. Or we could try for all pung. There's a three bam out in a chow. Let's go ahead and chow, uh, chow right here. One, two, three. Let's chow. Who knows where that other three bam is? Potential chow, potential pung, uh, chow, or potential pung. Potential pung, potential pung. Let's get rid of green dragon. Green dragon. Up here we're going to pung.
Oops. Fong. North. You punged up here. Let's discard four crack. Six bam. Oh, six bam. Ciao. Okay, we have a potential chow isolated. Potential pung, potential pung. Let's discard white dragon. White dragon. And here we're going to pung. Pung. Okay, let's discard north. Here we're going to pung. Now, we have what's called a naked weight. We're gonna be waiting on one tile. None of these are, well, there are two eight dots out in chows. Let's throw eight dot. We're ready to win on a four dot. West, that's been thrown. Nine crack. Oh, we paired up. Okay, let's get rid of east. That's the wind of the round. Nobody can take it. We'll draw. One dot. Nine dot. Now, there's a nine dot out in a chow. There's a nine dot out in a discard pile, so let's discard nine dot. West, we just discarded that. East, we just discarded East. Shoot. Oh, six dot. That's kind of a scary discard because this player has only one tile and they're in dots. Six dot. There's one out in a chow, one out in a discard. Six dot. Four dot. Okay, this player, it's, it's not, it's in the middle game. They do have all these tiles here, but they're set up to chow or pung. One, they have two blocks out. One here, potential. One here, potential. Here, potential. These are relatively safe. This one, not so much. Either way, there's going to be risk. Let's discard east. Nobody's been wanting that. This is a risky discard because this player has three blocks of dots out. Let's draw. Six crack. We're going to discard red dragon. They're ready to win on a four crack or a seven crack. This player is going to pung. We're gonna discard eight bam. Ready to win on a two bam. Seven dot. There are two seven dots out in a chow and one in a discard pile. Seven dot. Three dot. There's a three dot out. No four dots are out. Let's discard south. Here, we could pung and get more score and then be left with a one and a three for a pair and have another naked weight. There are two one bams out. 
there are there is one two bam out in a chow one three bam in a chow so if we pung for score and wait on a three let's pung Discard one bam. We got two naked weights. Drawing four west, north. They can Kong because they have a Pung out right now. So this is the only time you can add to an exposure. We're going to get a replacement tile from the back of the wall east, which nobody wants. Drawing up here. Nine bam. Pung. Or chow chow. Let's discard red dragon. There's a pung out, so that won't be a problem. Drawing down here. Three bam. They're ready to win. And that is Mahjong right here. Mahjong from the player on our left. Really, we'll turn. We'll just turn it like that. I usually put it on top. We'll just know it's from this player. That's a pair. Pung. Okay, half flesh, dragon pung, seat wind, flower doesn't count. Three fawn for half flesh, one fawn for dragon pung, one fawn for seat wind. Three, four, five, five fawn. Five fawn, 16 points. This player pays 32. These two players pay 16 each. When a player has several exposures showing what suit they're in, there will always be risk with your discards. You've got to decide if you want to push to win or fold. For East, they were playing half flesh and they had a dragon pung. I think I would have played to win. Would you? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.